I'm going to go through and complete the steps for one of the images in assignment three. I think I will navigate to my desktop where my Photoshop folder is. I'll open that and just make sure. See, there's the Photoshop one folder. We'll do the crop to um, image. Uh, from the right here, we could right click on it and say, open this with Adobe Photoshop CC, but uh, we won't do that right now. We'll just go ahead and open Photoshop and we'll go to File, Open, and choose the Crop Zero to Image. Now, in your instructions, it's going to tell you to choose the Crop Tool preset, which is 4x6 at 300 pixels per inch. So you can either click the Crop Tool or hit C on your keyboard, and it will go to the Crop Tool. And then from up here in the Options bar, you can choose a Crop Tool that is 4x6 inches at 300 pixels per inch. And you'll see it displayed out here on the desktop in the workspace. So now we're going to resize and crop this to remove the distracting elements in the background. We've got a uh, green sign. We've got someone over here with some problems, uh, looks like. <laughs> uh, and uh, another guy over here. We just want to focus in on this couple. So again, we'll grab the crop tool and we will make it a little bit smaller. Now we could do it just like that. Or we can rotate it a little bit if we want to put them in a different orientation. Gonna go ahead and do that, get a little closer. And then we'll go ahead and do the check mark and say, okay. Now that we've got the crop and the distractions out of the background, we're going to resize it to 500 pixels in the width. So I go to Image, Size, and here it tells me in pixels, make sure you're in pixels, that this is 1200. So I'm just going to change it to 500 pixels in the width. And then the height is automatically uh, done in proportion because we have the box checked to keep everything uh, in proportion. And we're going to go ahead and say OK. So it's going to take it down, make it a little bit smaller because it's only 500 pixels wide. And then we're going to go to image size. We're going to add a little border to this using the canvas size. So we'll do the image canvas size. And again, make sure that your checkbox for relative is checked. And then make sure you're in pixels. And we're going to add 50 pixels to the width and 50 pixels to the height. And we're going to make it the background color, which is white. You could click here and choose a color if you'd like to. But we're going to go ahead and stay with white. And then I'm going to say OK. And so it puts 25 pixels on each side of the image, making it, if you look down here, this pic, this image is now 550 pixels by 800 pixels. So it's added those 50 pixels to the image in both the height and width direction. Then we're going to save this. We're not just going to do save. We're going to do File, Save As, and then we're going to click in front of the name and add our name, your name, Mike Brown, underscore, crop 02. Choose JPEG if it's not already chosen for you, and say Save. And under the JPEG options, you want to use a level 10 baseline. And we'll talk more about that in future uh, assignments. But just take those as the options to choose and say OK. Now you're just going to close that 
and you can work on your others. And then once you get them all done, you can do, uh, we'll look at uploading them to Dropbox.